well, good evening and uh, happy Memorial Day weekend. It is uh, the 26th of May. Uh, it's Journal 60, which sounds insane, but it is. Um, T plus 54, which sounds even better. Uh, and in Southern California, it was a good day to think about things. Not much else, but a good day to think about things. Um, it's what a really good friend of ours calls a pajama day. It was uh, gray and gloomy and threatening to rain all day. It was cold for California. I apologize to all of you in the Midwest. Our idea of cold is uh, very different than yours. <laughs> Uh, having traveled through the Midwest in the middle of the winter quite often, I recognize that, and I don't want to make light of it because you are a hardy lot. Um, but it was a good day to contemplate. It was a good day to think about stuff. Uh, it would have been a better day if you did more than just think about stuff and you actually did something, <laughs> which I failed to do. Um, you know, I, I thought about um, walking on the treadmill downstairs and... I thought about it. I thought about it a lot. I just didn't get to do it. Um, I thought about um, many different things. And with the exception of a minor crisis, which I, I tried to uh, help ameliorate, uh, mitigate, and the conversation with a dear friend, um, it was pretty uneventful. But that doesn't mean that the thinking about stuff doesn't have a place in your life, even if that's all it means is thinking about it. Uh, it helps It helps those tiles move around inside your head and uh, find their rightful place in the great scheme of things and the things that you have uh, less to, left to do, um, one of which is, is work and finishing up the final, 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 final copy of the book, uh, which for whatever reason is, seems much, much more difficult than it really ought to, uh, especially feeling not quite 100% um, right now. And it, you know, it got me to thinking about lots of the different chapters in the book, um, and what they mean, what they mean to me, why I thought they were important to include. And, and uh, lessons that I've learned, you know, over a lifetime of, of entrepreneurship, a lifetime of working with the public, uh, a, a lifetime of serving the needs of, of what I consider to be my ministry. Um, our shop in in San well our, our service station in Santa Monica and our our shop in in Simi Valley and uh, taking care of all the people there many of whom have become dear friends and uh, some of them are just really important because they have to do with leveraging and, and balance and and uh, as, as I said the other night about flexibility uh, about force versus impact and uh, many of you may may understand that from a personal perspective many of you may have experienced it but you know force is is kind of like a, a a big dog leaning on your thigh, you know, it's there, you know, it's there, but it's, it's dissipated. Um, in many ways, it's not focused. It's not, um, uh, as effective as it might otherwise be because it's not focused <clears throat> because it's not linear. Um, in, uh, in those terms, and uh, that was a lesson that I learned early in, in uh, a couple of the different martial arts styles that I studied over the years. And uh, and you realize that that impact is much more important than than force. You know, you can't get sufficient impact without without force. But if that force is focused, 
um, the results are really significantly greater. And, you know, you see that, you know, I've seen it anyway throughout my life. I've seen it um, implying uh, force trying to uh, to change things at work. Uh, I've seen it while working on cars. Uh, I've seen it on the mat or on the, the studio floor. And I've seen the the difference that that impact when it's focused can make um, in your life and in the lives of others around you. Um, so I think it's it's kind of important, and it's an important distinction to uh, to recognize and understand the way I learned it, and and the the way I, you know, portrayed it in in the uh, in Misfire was uh, when I first started studying, one of the instructors came over to me because I was working with a 100 pound heavy bag and uh, trying to exert as much force as I could on the bag because it felt um, inadequate when, you know, when I would strike the bag and, and it barely moved and it was it was laughing at me. <laughs> if it had a face, it would have been laughing at me. And uh, one of the uh, instructors at that school came over <clears throat> and gave me uh, an abject lesson in force versus impact, showing me that that I was exerting a, a lot of force. I mean, whatever my body was capable of generating at the time, and I was a lot heavier at, at that point, and I was uh, I was working out with weights. So I was more substantial, more or less. Uh, and she demonstrating real form uh, managed to strike the bag with enough impact to fold the damn thing in half. Felt like it was going to tear it out of the roof. Uh, which is about as motivating as anything can be. I mean, I don't know uh, when we were in Israel on a trip uh, there, we visited a military base and we realized that all of the instructors, almost all the instructors, especially hand to hand instructors and, uh, and many of the other jobs there were taught by women. And one of the reasons they were taught by women is because it drove the men nuts that they were so much better at, at what they were doing than they were. So they worked really diligently to go ahead and improve their, their skill sets. And it was no different with this lesson on force versus impact. But having learned that lesson, the thing that was fascinating was that I was able to go ahead and take what I had learned and bring it back to the shop and bring it in, you know, integrate it into my regular, my personal life and realizing that, that force is not necessarily what it's going to take to get it done. Uh, it's more likely that a surgical strike, a focused strike, uh, with far more impact is going to give you the result that you want. It's going to break the board. It's going to shatter the, uh, the cinder block. It's going to, it's going to do a lot of things for you that, that just force alone won't. And, and these are the things you think about on days where there's virtually nothing else that you want to do. I was going to say that you could do, but that's not true. I mean, I could have done a lot of things today, but I chose not to. Um, after all, it's a holiday weekend, right? Um, I'm going to see what happens tomorrow. I'm not going to allow that to, uh, to stop me from getting things done tomorrow. But in the meantime, think about that. Think about force versus impact in your own life. And, and uh, if you're so inclined, let me know if it's played a role, if it's meaningful to you. I know that that it's helped me with my mental focus and my mental focus is what's helped me. That plus my attitude, plus a positive attitude has helped me get through um, at least this part of the recovery. So until we talk to each other again, until uh, we meet again tomorrow, stay well, take care, and uh, have a great remainder of the Memorial Day weekend. Bye-bye.